Yo, what up, what up? What up, what up? Yo, uh, this was a fun one. Swampland, baby. I'm out there in Roseburg, Oregon. Easement. No trucks able to get in there. In Oregon, we have a lot of this, like, just easement, bro. Like, goes on the highway, jumps back onto, you know, straight nonsense. But, um, it was a good time. Uh, this was like my, one of my first, um, big jobs, uh, cause this was tied into a bigger, another bigger, big project out there in Roseburg, Oregon. Uh, so this was like me in the beginning as a foreman after like being a ground hand for like four years, I think. I'm, not, I'm pretty sure it was like four years or three years, something like that. And then, um, yeah, they finally cut me loose. I was able to do production here. Um, I think I had my contractor's license. Uh, the company that I was working for um, uh, had me get my contractor's license, which it sucked, but that was the only way I was able to make peace rate. You know, uh, if you're watching this and you're like, who the fuck uses a, uh, um, a fall protection? In Oregon, it's required. If they catch you out there without this belt, you know, because if you fall, it'll squeeze right onto the uh, the pole. If you're not, if you don't carry this on you, if you're not climbing with this, like I, I heard, the fine's like a thousand dollars, and they could probably shut you down. And Oregon, man, like it sucks. Like Oregon is like super, super, like all about safety, and like you step out of line out there, and like like that's it. They'll shut you down. Like oh, you you can't even be out there on some roads without flaggers. They'll just shut it down. Um, but whatever, uh, that's my rant on that part, but here, man, I'm just, um, I had to climb these poles, um, they're kind of tall, I think that was like 20, 20 feet, 20 something feet, 30 feet maybe, if I'm not mistaken, um, but, oh, dude, and then I have, was having to use a mule tape hand line and just, bro, we were Jimmy rigging it out there, you feel me, because... I just didn't have all these things with me, so I just like, bro, let's go, you know. I think I put up like 12, 12 14,000 feet of fiber. Yeah, something along those lines. Um, and then I, I'm taking my tick mark right there. They, they want sequentials. I also don't get paid, you know. They want to make sure that uh, the footage is add up and that way, especially me, that I'm getting paid by the foot, you know. Man, these are the golden days, man. I, I'm going to upload a video here soon of, like, the shit that I'm doing now. Bro, it's costing me so much time to, like... I mean, the ass whoopers were the same, I guess. So I can't... But I'm basically making the same amount of money as a contractor with all my equipment and all that stuff, you know. As I was doing at 40% here, because the rates in Oregon are so much better. You know, Texas, man, the rates are harsh out here. I mean, the cost of living is, uh, I don't know, but I guess a bit better. You know, shit's still expensive. I mean, we're living through some craziness right now. Uh, I mean, there's parts in the outside of, like, the cities. I'm out of Austin. Whoa. Round Rock. Anyways, but right here, last year was uh, empty. It came up, big spans. Uh, man, I'm telling you, this is the golden days. You don't know what you have until it evaporates from your hands. And this was the good old, the good days, man. Not the good days. It's just it was it was awesome. Big old spans. Like I'm out there. Like I'm I'm you know my first time kind of being out there by myself. I'm a foreman now. Like, they trust me enough not to kill anybody. Um, so I'm just like, yeah, baby, you know, trying to get it. Working 12, 14-hour days like it was nothing. I, you know, um, I still love what I do, man. I just get burned out sometimes. In any case, this was a fun run, you know. I, like I said, it was like 15, 16,000 feet of uh, strand of fiber. Right here, I'm having the ground hand move that line to the middle. That way you don't have to use a chain hose. You just use him as a chain hoist. I have him pull 
as a counterweight on the opposite side of the span. Because I don't like how this looks. The guys that I was trained under, man, they want their stuff to look nice. You got to sag it into, like, neutral. Make sure it looks nice, like, with neutral. It's not going to be perfect, but take pride in your work, you know. Make, make it look nice, you know. Make it look clean. And uh, I was, I was I'm proud of almost everything I put up, you know. Um, I have to be. Or else, I mean, it's just, you know, it's not worth it. If you're not, if you're not going to... The, the one thing that I've learned is, like, if you're not going to do a good job, don't do it. Don't do it, man. Just don't do it. It's, it. I'm telling you, if you're starting out in this business, like, bro, don't do it. Don't do not do half-ass shit. It's not worth it. Your name gets uh, destroyed. It gets ran through the mud, you know. Because as it is, even though you do a good job and you give people breaks, they, they still don't care. So now imagine you doing a half-assed job, man. Like people, will, like they'll be like, "Nah, bro. Like you, you can't trust that guy to do any anything good." Well, you know. Uh, in any case, I just I always like myself to look. I'm not the fastest guy, man. I've seen some guys that are extremely fast out there. They're like, "Woof, damn." But I don't know. I'll be out there all day if I have to. You know, I'll I won't stop. I won't, you know, when I, when I, when we're in it, like, we're in it, man, like, I just won't stop. I'll be out there 14 hours easy, you know. I mean, my day sometimes consists of 16 hours, 17 hours, because I'm the uh, proud owner of a small company, two trucks, you know. In any case, I'm just trade. I'm switching that lasher up there. Why? Because I'm going to have, if not, I have to. Some guys will drop that last show all the way down and have their ground hands, uh, you know what I mean, uh, loaded. Hell no. Shit, put that stuff up. Uh, send it up to me through the hand line. I'll do it up there. It takes more time. So what? I don't care. Like, I'm not going to hike that shit all the way up. Every Like, every other pole. Maybe not every other pole, but every four poles. Like, I had to change it. Those spans were like two, three hundred feet. Easy. Um... You know, so you got to like switch out um, that that the lasher lasher wire like cons- a lot. You know, maybe there were longer spans, man, but they're they're pretty big spans, and um, I don't know, man. It just it kills you to try to hike it down, hike it back up. That ball right there is heavy. You know that lasher. It's a C lasher. It's not a J. I was out here um, doing work with the J Lasher, bro. And I was hiking that. I was like, bro, it was, like, it'll kick your ass. Um, but maybe I'm just getting soft. I don't know. Whatever. Just, it is what it is. But, yeah, I'm just, uh, nah, they want nine inches away. Um, bug nuts. Uh, bug nuts always uh, tying into the, towards the pole. Uh, the bug nuts are basically those, um, what I attach the lashing wire to. Those things always tighten towards the pole. If you're starting out and you're doing this, you're a ground hand and you don't know what you're doing up there. Um, that's what I'm basically doing. Make sure it's on the rollers before you start to send it. Look at this, man. Jimmy rigging. Like, I'm just tying this, bro. I'm tying this by hand. You shouldn't have this be tying it by hand. But, anyways, I send it. Thanks for watching. Any questions, concerns, you already know what to do. Chill.